butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book, a reading rainbow. I'm about to travel for the first time in a long time and it reminded me of this thing I used to do in my sketchbook. I used to collect trash while I'm traveling or little things that had memories attached to them and of course I would just stick them into my sketchbook. Super cool way to document your life in your art a little bit. I don't have medication. Maybe you need medication. If you've got too much paint and you're working from a tube, try tapping it on a hard surface so it drags down and use something thin to place it back in the space. If you have a very precise art style and like meticulous line work, the best thing that you can do to warm up is very loose gestural drawing. This way you start to get the engine going not only in terms of your ideas and getting into the flow of going to create a piece, but also literally warming up your muscles, tendons. I think we all know that we've experienced that sort of rusty drawing look which can suddenly pop up in the middle of drawing something we think we're sure about but then somehow we forgot to draw. <laughs> I guarantee you if you do some warm-ups before you start into your artwork this is what's going to help get your body and mind into the game. Let me know how it goes. If you're in an art block don't forget to be playful. I have a tip to help develop your sketching. When addressing the planes, try picking directions to shade that echo the form itself. For the triangle, I'm going to choose the tip and shade with everything gathering at that point and find a uniform stroke pattern in the next warped plane. In this example, I'm going to do the opposite. I wanna point out that this is not the quote, right way to sketch or shade. It's simply another way to think about how you can develop stability in your drawings. Seeing them beside each other is what makes the differences even more impactful. By being conscious of how we treat our shading, we can affect emotion, gravity, direction, and above all, style. So give it a try and let me know how it goes. Sketchbook essential tools. Let me tell you some. A good pen that you like, because you're gonna be drawing with it a lot. You could probably use a pencil too. A glue stick to stick things in. Tape to stick things in. Scissors. Markers. Okay, here's some non-essential things. Colored pencils, highlighters, a brush pen, these are kind of cool to sketch with. Colored pens, an X-Acto knife, and double-sided tape to stick things in. And tell me this wasn't genius. They're the same. Let's see if this works. $7 for 56 of them. This thing in itself is $12. Are you freaking kidding me? Tell me I'm not genius. And I even have different sizes.
paint cats and gouache so I start off by spraying both sides of the paper with water because it helps with the paper warping um, and next I go in with a powdered watercolor base um, which sets the undertones of the painting and it's also very pigmented so next I am beginning to start with the gouache and I start with the darkest colors first and do some main color blocks of the image I like to stick to pretty geometric shapes like triangles um, to help define the fur uh, I also work from darkest to lightest as you can see here and I try to keep the gouache to one or two layers because it does not uh, layer particularly well. It tends to get muddy really fast. Then I go in with a wax coating and this really amplifies those colors and protects the painting from any water damage. Here's the finished painting. Caroline, Caroline, Caroline. You are in terrible danger. You probably think this world is a dream come true. Painting, collage, making inspiration art. Hey. Use your art to. Tip is to walk away constantly to see how it looks overall. 